So I finished applying my little sample for you. Um, most of it's Navajo ply because that was the rhythm I was going in when I finished talking to you the last time. But I wanted to tell you, remember, again, energy, no great surprise, I'm going to talk about that again. You put energy into your singles, you balance the energy by um, spinning counterclockwise, making your plies, okay? Now, that's good. You, you've probably gotten 90% of the way of balancing the energy. But there are going to be little pockets, little areas where there's some left, or it's not quite the way it is. So what you're going to do now is you're going to set your skein of yarn. First thing is you want to take the tension off of your bobbin because you want it to be able to flow easily. The next thing is what I normally do is I turn my wheel so that it's facing me more like this so that I'm not pulling because all you want to do is pull right off the bobbin to you. Now there are nitty knotties which are those interesting stick things with the arm sticking out. Somehow I'm never with my nitty knotty when I've finished plying something and, and I'm too lazy to go try to find it and it just it doesn't work. It can be easily done. Um, some people will have a dining room chair that they can make a big loop around the back of it. I tend to just make a loose loop of the yarn just around my hand. It doesn't have to be perfectly measured. It just doesn't have to be. So you're going to go through and you're going to pull all of your yarn into a skein around your arm, just like this. So I finished, uh, I guess, skeining up my yarn. Now, this was kind of fun. As I got to the end, I got to the barber pole part. So you've got your skein in your hand. Now, the thing you want to do, of course, you know from knitting, if you, tr you have to be careful with the skein to not let it get all tangled. So you're going to break your yarn, okay? Well, ideally. Yay! And what you're going to do is take a pretty long strand off of the ply, Right where you're holding it with your thumb, just secure that right away with just a little bit of a, I really should have checked in a Boy Scout manual what these knots are, but I just pull it through and make a loop and I pull it out and about. So it just makes like a little tie. And you want to do that, pull the little loop through, pull the tie through, put it like at least three places, you know, I tend to do four. This is a little tiny, tiny, tiny skein. So three is probably enough. The point is you are going to be giving your new little skein a bath. Okay? Think about it. It's the same thing you do when you finished knitting a project. You've put a lot of tension on that yarn and you want your garment to kind of get a little bath. Just use any, you know, your regular wool soak. What I do is I fill the, the sink up with actually pretty hot water. Okay? It's agitation and hot water that makes things felt. And all you're going to do is take your skein and just gently place it in that nice wool wash water. Kind of wash it down, let it go. I let it soak. It can soak for, you know, a couple of hours if you want. You don't have to time it. Go do something and come back. And then what I do is I treat it just like a regular um, knit garment. Because imagine... I, in fact, you really do want to let it soak for a while because you've put a lot of strain on this entire thing. You've twisted it, twisted it, twisted it, then you untwisted it, then you pulled it off. I mean, it's really had a pretty hard time of it up to now. Let it soak for a while. Then what I do is I let the water out, I kind of push some of the water out of the skein, and I have a towel, big bathroom towel sitting right there. Lay the skein, kind of fold the towel over it, take that whole tube, put it in my washing machine, set it to spin, and just let it whirl all the water. It's like a big salad spinner. Let it whirl all the water out of it, okay? Then you're going to take this and you're going to hang it somewhere. And what I do is I, like, put a hanger on the bottom of this and put some socks or something to make the hanger heavy because you're going to want to kind of set this, pull on it a little bit until it dries. 
And then, of course, once it's finished, you treat it just like a skein that you have bought in the store. You can, you know, twist it up, store it for a while, think about what you want to make with it. I'm sure you've been dreaming about what you want to make as you spin, so now you can think about it some more. Make a skein, store it, and be sure to ball wind it, okay? Just like any other skein, you cannot knit directly from this, but you have hand spun yarn.